This video is going to show you how to use the area model to divide. First I'm going to write down my division problem. We're going to divide 693 by 5. Now the first thing that I need to do is think about what I'm dividing by. I'm dividing by 5 so I need to jot down a few things that I know about 5's. So I'm going to do 5 times 10 equals 50 because I know that fact and my number goes all the way up to 700 so I'm going to do 5 times 100 equals 500 and that should get me started those two um, facts that I know about fives so now I'm going to draw my rectangle and I'm going to put my divisor over here and I know that I am dividing by 693. So I need to find out how many fives are in 693 without going over. So I know that 100 fives is 500, and that's getting me close. So I'm going to put 100 here, and 100 fives is worth 500. So now I'm going to take my 693 that I am dividing by 5 and I'm going to subtract the 500 and see what I have left. I have 193 left. Now if I look at this fact right here I see that 5 tens is 50 so I know that 5 twenties would be 100 and 5 thirties would be 150. So I'm going to use 5 30s because it's closest to 190. I'm going to draw my next box. So 5 30s are worth 150. So I'm going to take my 150 and subtract it from my 193 and I have 43 left. So I notice that I can't do 10 fives because that's 50 and I only have 43. So I'm going to think, I know it's going to be a little less than 10, so 5 times 9 is 45. That's still too big. 5 times 8 is 40. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to make my last box. I'm going to multiply 8 times 5, and it's going to be 40. I'm going to take my 40, and I have 3 left. I'm dividing by 5, and I only have 3 left, so I can't go any further. So my answer is at the top, 100 plus 30 plus 8. So that's 138 remainder 3 because I have 3 left over. That's how you use the area model to divide.